Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. In my hands is one of the graphic novel releases for this week. This is WWE Undertaker, an original graphic novel, taking on the dead man himself. Uh, you know, before even getting into this, I kind of want to discuss my wrestling background. I, I remember growing up watching wrestling way back in the day. You know, it was a Hulk Hogan, Ron, uh, Randy Macho Man Savage, Ultimate Warrior, Andre the Giant, old school WWE. Uh, WWF from the 80s, that's my experience on wrestling. Uh, gave up for a while, I think I vaguely remember Undertaker debuting, and got back in a little towards the end of WCW, and then eventually the merge of WCW and WWF, now WWE, and you know, overall it was... Yeah, it was enjoyable. It was never something I was super into, the storylines, all that. I just kind of watched guys beating the crap out of each other, watched some pay-per-view, stuff like that. It was more a social thing with friends, especially college time. Drink some beer, watch some wrestling. So, you know, reading these comics has been really interesting. You'd be able to check out some of the WWE comics. There was the you know, graphic novel history of, of wrestling. And to be able to check this out in comic form has been fascinating. You know, the... The, to me, it's always wrestling's been interesting in the uh, fiction, you know, the, the reality of it versus the story element of it, um, the fixed element versus kind of the, the shoot element of it. I think shoot's the right term. Uh, the kayfabe el element, all that stuff. It's, it's interesting. And because I can't really think of anything else that does that really well and it really does that at all. It really blends reality and, and fiction and nonfiction and all that. Like, it's a it's a really fascinating thing. So what the WWE comics have been fascinating about is that they take the WWE storylines and then put you take you a little bit behind the scenes as well into like their everyday lives. It doesn't really break the wall at all. You you know these guys don't break character, but I think that's been kind of fascinating to read and see that take of it. You know what happens if if these characters lived off the screen as well. So it gets us to WWE Undertaker. I've been rambling. And WWE Undertaker is that with The Undertaker's life. We get to see him growing up. Obviously, his brother Kane, uh, the, the drama surrounding them. And we get to see Undertaker grow from the WWE, throughout the WWE and his major moments in wrestling, how he got together with Paul Bearer, all that stuff straight to what's going on today. So this is kind of like a this is your life Undertaker. Uh, as I like, I'm not a wrestling expert. I'm not a WWE expert. I can't tell you how much this actually covers, how much this leaves out. Uh, but it really feels like it covers his career really, really well. There's some cool moments. There's some solid stuff like behind the scenes. Again, I don't know if this was things that were shown on camera or what, and if this is just kind of like a graphic adaptation of what we've seen in actual WWE or not. But uh, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a good story. It gives some depth in Undertaker. It, it makes him a kind of a cool character. Uh, it weaves in and, and makes all the like story and history and all that work really well and plays it off as like his real life. Um, I think all that is done excellent. And it kind of continues Boom's excellent run of being able to do that with WWE. As I said, not the biggest wrestling fan now. Every so often, I might turn something on just to watch it for five, ten minutes. Um, but this is, I think this is just a cool way of doing it. It's basically taking the wrestling aspect of it and then taking their characters off the screen of how they live as opposed to them going to live their actual lives. Uh, so this is written by Chad Dundas. Uh, he's a novelist, journalist, and combat sports expert. But this is first time, um, uh, first time he, I think he's taken crack in comics. Um, the art mostly is Rodrigo Lorenzo, and this is where I have the issue with this. So Rodrigo Lorenzo handles most of it. Chapter 3 then changes to Edu, Mania, and Serge Acuna. That didn't bother me. Chapter 4, though, is Kelly Williams, Travis Himmel, Tim Laddie, Kendall Good, Serge Acuna. Uh, the whole thing is colored by Wesley Emanuel with Vladimir Popoff and Doug Garbark. Vladimir Popoff sounds like a rustler. A uh, letter by Darren Bennett and covered by Oliver Barrett. It's the chapter four, the art shifts, and it, I don't think it works quite as much. It's very noticeable. The Most of the story to chapter three, and when chapter three gets the new artist, that doesn't seem to like really bother me at all. It's chapter four, 
there's parts that really look different, and I don't want to show them off because it's really far into the book, and I don't want to like mess up previews or anything like that. Uh, but that was kind of my one issue with it. I really kind of wish that it was one artist throughout the entire graphic novel, uh, but that's just not the case. So, uh, small irritation, but it didn't kill my enjoyment. Like, it was just one of those things like, really? You, you couldn't have done an artist throughout the whole thing? I don't know if it was an artistic reason, if there was just a timing issue, or what the you know, why, uh, but it is what it is. Still, if you're a fan of Undertaker, I think this is a definite get. If you're a fan of wrestling or WWE, this is a definite get. Uh, retails for $19.99. And it's, it's entertaining, so to show off some of the art, we'll keep it towards the beginning. Uh, this is Undertaker when he's younger, going up with his brother. See some issues with him and Kane. And then the tragic, we'll start, end it with this, the tragic moment when his house burns down and he thinks his entire family's dead. Um, so this is out in comic shops now, it's out in bookstores. I don't think there was extra. Uh, there was a little bit. So there was extras. The extras was some covers for from the WWF, well, back in the day, WWF magazine. Um, that is kind of cool. Like the chapters were broken up with covers from the WWF magazine, kind of showing each chapter of his life. That was actually really cool. I, I dug that. It was a smart decision. Uh, so as I said, this is out in comic shops now. It's out in bookstores probably next week. Yeah, bookstores November 6th. Um, obviously go and support your comic shops, first and foremost, as I always say, support your comic shop. Uh, they're backbone of the industry. If you don't know if you have a shop near you, you don't know where shop's near you, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to tell if your shop's near you. No shop, no problem. we got affiliate links. There are affiliate links. Um, they do. We do get a small percentage of that, but, you know, you support our site that way. And speaking of support, I want to thank Boom for opening us up with our review copy. We always like to be uh, transparent as to what we get for free so you can make a decision as to how much, you know, I'm full of it. Uh, I also want to thank you for watching. As always, the support of you watching is, is really appreciated. Uh, you can catch us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we cover the WWE comics. Uh, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Pinterest, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics. Go with the choke slam. Keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.